Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back with more Genshin Impact. We are continuing on with the Golden Slumber quest line. We made it through some of the puzzles and quest areas of some of the other ruins. We are now in King Deshret's mausoleum. A lot of elevator mechanisms within King Deshret's realm. I really appreciate that. This man was like, I will not have my people walk upstairs. Go to the highest floor of the mausoleum of King Deshret. Famous last words, chat. I was like, King Deshret would never let his people walk upstairs. This man hates his people after all. Dude, I spoke way too soon right there. Holy shit. All right, let's see what's happening. Theoretically, this is where King Deshret's organs are stored. Oh yeah, so they do like the whole mummification. But just like before, nothing physical is stored here. Father, what do you think? I'm sure you know something, right? Even if you didn't tell me or anyone else. The stone slate is the key, but it cannot open all doors. Even the key must first receive acknowledgement. Now that I've calmed down a little bit, I can understand why Jabrail is challenging my views. You said that he was once from the desert perhaps some experiences maybe even verbal have been treated as knowledge not that they are true knowledge of course and naturally there is no academic records of such things his superstitions are understandable considering the society he lived damn this man's like i can't blame him he was basically raised in an uncultured environment people tell him things and he believes it repeating something wrong a thousand times doesn't make it right your entire research foundation repeat it constantly doesn't make it right it just means everyone has been wrong instead of worrying about differing opinions why don't we focus our attention on the real problem right didn't the stone slate light up earlier there are still so many blank spots on it do you think we'll find clues about the stone slate here why don't we take a look at the stone slate let's check it out we're probably gonna get oh okay Ooh. holy shit ben ben's evolving the man's leveling up. Let's go. He's a one star artifact right now. Whoa, it's shining. Looks like it opened up a new pathway too. Since the pathway to the next place has shown itself, we have no choice but to press forward. Some of the devices in King Deshret's ruins will allow you to increase the clearance level of the Scarlet Sand Slate. The higher the clearance the slate possesses, the more devices it can control, which will allow you to enter areas you weren't able to before. Yo, we Metroidvania boys. Let's fucking go. Ooh, this area looks... Oh my God. It's the Fatui. Oh my God. God, we got ambushed. Holy shit. Father and daughter are fighting the fucking Fatui. <laughs> Jet is Hydro and Jabril is Electro. And they're literally fighting a Hydro and Electro. Actually, they're fighting the opposite element. So they might be okay. Actually, they're getting wrecked. Hold on. Look at them. Look at them do all those reactions. You know, what? I'm going to let them take care of this. Oh my God. Get away from me. Uh-oh. There you go. You're finally here, my savior. I woke up to find myself in this place and my whole body felt like it was falling apart. That wasn't even the end of it. I went to great lengths to finally find Jet and her father, but the Fatui attacked again. Whoa, that's terrible. Damn, Paimon's like, yo, that's crazy, bro. Paimon, murder of birds. Did you see Ben Ben on the way? Ben Ben is gone. I searched all over the area to no avail. There's no need to be so anxious. The way I see it, it probably only got lost because it likes running off by itself so much. Ben Ben has helped us so much. It's part of our group. I don't know about you you but i wouldn't be so cruel as to abandon a companion its capabilities are undeniable terzad i'm sure you're aware of that even you jabril fine you win let's find ben ben first but i'm leaving if we encounter the fatui again i am wondering what the fatui are doing here because like they're always scheming so maybe they're trying to find the source of king deshret's powers or something like that i don't know wonder where, where does all this leak oh Look at this. All right, I know I'm not supposed to be up here. The, the ping is telling me to go down. But this, oh, there's scarabs down here too, based. Wow, this looks so cool. All right, I just want to, oh, there it is. I was like, there has to be a Dendroculus around here somewhere. Got him. All right, let's see. Proceed. Dude, where, where? Oh my God. I had no stamina right there. Kaching literally almost could have just fallen to her death oh my god that was actually really scary ha i was wondering when you would get here my dear jabrail but here you are just as i expected even without an invitation from me and how long has it been since we last spoke face to face even my fingers on both hands aren't enough to count the years what about you do you remember jabrail now he's gonna have to face his past that he doesn't want anyone even his daughter to know whoa this guy seems really strange but it looks like he knows jabrail how cold is our reunion after after so many years apart, not worth a glass of wine and a toast. You know I don't hold the past against you. 
Either that or I'm not Samael, the straight shooter. There's still a place for you in Thutmose. Just say the word and everything will go back to the to how it was. Indeed, we can even go claim the debt that Babel owes us. Oh, are these like mercenaries from back in the day or something? I knew it. I knew Jabril wasn't a good person. He's a actually old friends with someone like this nonsense father may have kept some things from me but i believe he he has his reasons huh that really hurts jet huh how do you know my name how could i not why jabril you've got such a cold heart and it's like father like daughter i see ah dear jet you may have forgotten but luckily i still remember it very well i held you in my arms when you were just a little baby with the moonlight on one side and the bonfire on the other just like your parents how come it seems like jabril didn't tell you everything at all huh come on that can't be jabril couldn't you have at least told your daughter the truth oh well, I suppose I shouldn't have been too shocked. After all, we did call you the treacherous grit. As I listened to my subordinates reporting to me about the responses of a foreign merchant in about the foreign merchants in the oasis, I started to wonder who gave them such wisdom, yet only instructed them without explaining everything at all. But even I could never have imagined that little Jet's place in your heart is no different than those foreign merchants, mere strangers to you. You don't even dare to tell her about your past. Why? Are you afraid she'll hear about your history of betrayal and look down on you? Father? Samail, to be honest, I'm quite relieved to see that you're still the same lippy fellow I remember. Now I have nothing to worry about if I beat you to the point where you'll leave on your own accord. <laughs> so you are afraid. You're afraid that this ghost of your past will seek you out for the debt you owe. But of course, I have the right. The secrets of al Akmar belong to the Thutmos, yet you took the key and betrayed us. You betrayed all of us, grains of sand just look at yourself you're with children and cowards ha where's the ferocity you once had has it flowed away like sands flown out between the fingers enough hand ben ben over ben ben oh this mechanical creation <laughs> Hey, did you hear that? Jabril actually calls this thing Ben Ben. Unfortunately, these Snezhnaians aren't our old acquaintances, or this would be much more amusing. Hand over Ben Ben or else. Or else what? Jabril, is that even necessary? Ultimatum after ultimatum. Have you finally changed your mind? Do you plan to finally sit down and catch up with me? Oh, right. You do remember what happened to Ufera. Haha. <laughs> You haven't forgotten, right? Uh-oh. Man brought up his woman. It's fine. Even if you've forgotten, I can help you refresh your memory again and again. We do have another way to communicate, don't we? Come on, Jet. Why don't you and that kid of yours lend him a hand? After all, Jabril is much weaker than he used to be. Murder of birds. That guy, Samail, looks strong. Yo, you know what? We got this. We're gonna body this man. Samail, the twin blade of Thutmos. Oh, shoot! We're fighting him along with the... Uh along with the squad. Let's go. Get wrecked, buddy. The Dendro Archon sends her regards. You know what? I'm gonna I'm let them finish you off. Get him, buddy. There you go. Oh, shit. They're, like, actually gone. We, like, buried them, too. They're dead. Ben, Ben, are you all right? It seems fine, but it's a little sad. Hey, Jabril, you better tell the truth right this instant, or we'll have to go our separate ways. Samail is clearly some manner of a villain, but why is he being friendly with you? And even with Jet. So, are you are you part of the same group? I knew it. I knew it all along. You agreed to my commission without even asking about the details. It's because you had a plan, right? You plotted with Samail to trick a simple and ignorant researcher like me to uncover the secrets here for you. Oh, so you admit it. You're a simple and ignorant researcher then. And even used your own daughter to gain my trust for the sake of that goal, didn't you? And you, Jet, that naivety and, air and ignorance of yours was just a facade that Jabrail made you put on, wasn't it? And what an actress you were indeed. Terza you're too much. Paimon thinks that Jet really was in the dark about this, but as for Jabrail, Paimon, you, okay, this man, yo, you need a, you need a calm down, sir. Talk shit, get hit. All right, remember who's the bronze of this team. Paimon, you too? Murder of birds, wake up. It's my kindness and gullibility that made you fall for their lies. Don't follow in their footsteps. What are you talking about? I'm no actress. And you, father, this isn't the time for secrets. I too want to know the truth. I won't make excuses for my betrayal, nor will I think that I've made the wrong decision you know paimon remembers samail calling jabrail something treacherous grit yes there's nothing to hide here i was once one of the sand people thutmos no matter what it was in the past now anyways samail was a madman through and through he will stop at nothing once to achieve his objectives that was obvious enough my wife 
Jet's mother. Wait, what? And this man was composed to not want to beat this man into the earth? My wife, Jet's mother, was killed by him. And he held her as a baby? So that's what happened. Is that why you never ever mentioned her? Your mother was a researcher too. If it wasn't for me, she would have had a brighter future. At least she wouldn't have lost her life at such a young age. Terzad, are you putting the pieces together now? I won't just believe a word you said. That's reasonable. It was I who concealed my motives. So I brought this upon myself. At least you have some self-awareness. But no matter what, I'll protect you until this commission is over. No way. It's obvious that Samael has a bone to pick with you if you stay with me i don't want to be targeted by someone like that terzad you're being stupid again that's just an old grudge between them his current priority is definitely king deshrit's treasure why would he have taken ben ben otherwise so he'd come for you even if my father wasn't here after all you have the key to solving everything i do wait the stone slate. Good thing I gave it to Murder of Birds for safekeeping. It's not just the stone slate, but your intelligence too. The knowledge you possess as a researcher is something he covets. Father won't lose to that guy, and you have me too. I won't let Samael hurt anyone again. There's no time to lose. The longer we delay, the more time he'll have to prepare. He's like a viper crawling through the shadows, and his blades are like the viper's fangs. We cannot show any weakness to him. Otherwise, it'll lead to fatal consequences. I hope you'll keep your word. Then we absolutely can't allow our different differences to delay the expedition. Let's go. Murder of Birds Paimon will take the front. All of you keep up. Oh, I know where it is. It's right here. Samael's missive. This is where I first heard his name because I marked it on my map over here. Actually, you know what? I'm about to fast travel really quick. Hold on. Where's this other waypoint? That's where I first saw it. And I was like, I remember seeing that name, but I didn't understand where or I just missed remembered where I saw it. Yeah, I knew I saw that name before. I was like, bro, I've seen his name. I just don't know where. Oh, there was also an enigmatic page. What the fuck? There was an enigmatic page right here. I missed this. What the hell? Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Let's mark that down real quick. Hold on. Hey, you know what? That's actually a good... That's a good idea. That's a good thing I came back here then. Torn page. All right. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's right here. Okay, so read this. Samael's missive. The merchant has given us the location of the traitor. There is more than one key, so you don't have to obtain it by force. In case someone questions you, find a way to leave immediately and don't ever mention our quarrel with that woman. If this works out, we'll be able to deal with her. Samael. I found this when I was initially exploring the desert off stream, like when I first like explored, like after act three and four of the Archon quest. But I, I was like, I didn't understand what it meant. So I marked it and I was like, I'll just come back here later. And you know, maybe it'll make sense. But now we've met these Samael and it kind of makes sense now. They're looking for keys and apparently there's more than one. I knew it. I knew I wasn't crazy, Chad. I was like, I know I fucking saw that name. I just couldn't, I couldn't re remember where. All right. And here's the second one. Samael's missive. Notable progress has been made in Kaj Nisut. Requisite conditions for opening the path are expected to come to light soon. From one's humble perspective, this place remains an essential part of the puzzle. All help would be appreciated. When the task is complete, compensation would be conferred as promised. Samael. All right, let's, let's mark this right here. I'm also going to mark this as Samael's missive UG, which means underground. I gotta mark shit underground now until they come out with like, they need to add more pins, like 250 at least. And uh, they need to make distinctions from above ground to underground. What I think they should have done is they should have just done an underground map equivalent like they did with the chasm. Can you imagine if the chasm had like, this was the above and it was also the underground. I don't think they could do that because like the infrastructure of this is completely off. But like in reality, like they did it specifically for the chasm because it's clearly two different terrains. I just don't know why they didn't make like a separate underground section for beneath the uh, the desert. You know what? The only thing I can think of is it might have something to do with it universally being explorative, like an exploration, uh, an exploration thing maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the underground also has different terrain, but they were just like, yeah, we don't feel like doing this so we're not gonna and i'm just like bruh you did it with the chasm why aren't you doing it now don't be a killjoy we've only just begun cut to the chase oh my god 
Ka Ching okay. coming at these Fatui with the quickness. Also, I just realized this too. I probably never noticed because I'm always fighting, but this little like little flower is sprouting out of the ground when you use her ultimate. That's so cute. I never noticed that because I'm always like fighting, but uh, that was actually a lot of downtime in the ultimate to, to notice that. That's kind of sick. They really did Nahida's kit justice. I, I love everything about it. The little jingle noise you hear when uh, when she like walks around is really sweet. Her, her idle like swing animation. They never it. Yeah, obviously, Nahida's normal attacks are also adorable as hell, too. I don't care what anyone says. She literally sounds like Kirby when she attacks. Like the... Like the, the loud pitch. Usually with her with her charge attacks, she sounds... She reminds me of Kirby. literally kirby just as cute investigate the room located deep within and there it is it's open dendroculus on my map whoa oh what's this what the fuck is all of this great hall of truths also i found that dendroculus let's go bro king deshret was on something when he made this place i'm just saying all right that's a little uh i have no idea what's all that what all that's about we're gonna find out Sheesh, dude. This should be the last place. Murder of birds. Take a look at the stone slate. If things go the same way as before, there may be clues about the stone slate here. Let's go. Oh. Yo, let's go. Ben Ben is up. Oh, shit. He has it. What the hell is happening? This is... It lit up as expected and there's a... Bro, what the fuck is this? This is like super futuristic. It, like for an advanced civilization, they're pretty futuristic. That's like the irony of it. It's like this civilization is old and ancient, but they're more advanced than anything we got going on right now. Bro, this is reminding me. I don't know where I get the mind. Like this reminds me of something that I've seen in another game. Horizon, maybe? This kind of reminds me of like Horizon a little bit. Speaking of ways, is the place marked on the map our next destination? I think it's where all treasures meet and all secrets end. Of course course it will be the end of our grand adventure too in the penultimate chapter of my research of my masterpiece while i really wish to obtain all the answers at this instant my body is exhausted mr boomer over here noctagall and the others are still at the oasis all oh, right samael's subordinates reported to him about merchants do you think they were attacked oh no I almost forgot that. I told them what to do if something like that happened, so they should be fine. And it's a good idea that he decided to bury some of the resources too, so that way they didn't get stolen. Wow, this man thought of everything. Whoa, that's a first. Paimon's never heard your braille sound so uncertain. Hmm, let's return to Noctagall's group as soon as we can then. It'll be bad if they're in hot water. It'll be bad if they're in hot water that they can't get themselves out of. Okay. Wait, so wait, that's it? We're just gonna leave? There's so much uncovered truths here. What about this back room? the fucking truth of the the, the the freaking hall of secrets bruh i can't even begin to comprehend what this room is about it's got like a giant like mechanism in the middle god damn I, i'm pretty sure we're definitely gonna be back but oh my god this too this is incredible man this is like super sophisticated and futuristic it almost kind of makes you wonder like how did king desperate like come to understand the technology that founded his civilization you know what i mean because like these motherfuckers are building these freaking shrines out of stone yet they have this technology that looks like almost like technological like so technologically advanced you know you motherfuckers are dishing out money with like golden coins but then you have like this alien technology it seems to just like have everything be futuristically designed pretty crazy man it's almost i wouldn't be surprised if it's like conria related or something of the sort anyways let's uh we gotta head back to the oasis oh shit they're actually here all right back up buddy I see everything. You punch you. Speed of light. oh Let's shit yo you y'all you, want to help <laughs> After you, I'll give you a Bennett buff too to help you out. Your journey ends here. Okay, there's a big guy here. All right, hold on. They might, they actually might need my help. Get him! Oh, holy shit! Oh my god, this guy looks so sick. Yo, he summons his Pokemon. That's so cool. There you go. I'm going to make sure they get all the killing blows from here on out. Also, if you wanted a top-down view of what Nahida's ult covers, that was actually kind of crazy. I'm just so happy that you're all right, too. 
they really came at us luckily jabril gave us the instructions beforehand so they didn't make things they didn't make things too difficult for us if boniface had jabril's wisdom then perhaps our business would have been better than it currently is you think too highly of him then wisdom he's one of them i bet it's experience talking father wouldn't do something like that there's no need to argue there's no need to argue with him jet it's my fault i don't care what happened in the past as far as i'm concerned you have nothing to do with samail now and that's enough for me what's going on i thought a night in the oasis might bring all of you together why are you at each other's throats again it's a long story and let's explain it all i see but i don't have the right to comment on it oh why is that well it's because terzad is the one who's paying me no matter who i support i'll be in a difficult spot if i support Support Jabrail, Terzad will light will probably scream at me to get lost. But if I support Terzad, then it'll be without then we'll be without Jabrail in this world of sand and bandits. Murder of birds, what would you do in a situation like this? I think Jabrail has changed his ways. And if need be, I got money, so I don't need Terzad's chum change. Paman doesn't think Jabrail's a bad guy either. Anyways, this guy Samail has a weird way of speaking. It's it's best not to believe anything he says. Jabrail is his enemy. Yeah, so they're definitely not in the same on the same side hmm i believe that the most important thing right now is to get terzad to trust jabril what you're a merchant you should know the value of trust even in the world of academics researchers who engage in misconduct will be stripped of their research qualifications by general mahamatra sino himself just ask yourself would you trade with someone who cheated you in the past oh about that I would decide based on the circumstances. I dare not speak of others, but Boniface and I have much more flexible moral standards. After weighing the risks and the benefits, we would we usually choose to take the risk. We wouldn't have accepted your commission otherwise. I think I said this before, but you sure are stubborn. Forget about Samail for a moment and ask yourself a question. Has Jabril ever done anything to harm you? No, I don't think so. Then hasn't he proven himself through his actions? Ain't that the truth, bro? Everyone's out here trying to cancel people on their past it's like yeah well guess what have i done lately who cares what i did 10 15 20 years ago what am i doing in the here and now i feel like so many people get caught up on like words and actions of the past that no one can change but you all you also want to hold someone to their past as if they're incapable of changing and moving forward. This guy's actually goaded. Noctagall actually giga chat. You know, when you cause all that commotion after getting drunk, it was Jabrail who stayed and took care of you, Terzad. This isn't the time for fighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, we haven't even found the place marked on the map yet. Jabrail is definitely the person in our group who knows the most about the desert. It'll be difficult in our expedition to proceed without him leading the way. Fine, I'll do it for you. I know I can trust you too. That's not the point, my dude. That's not the point. The point is you should trust him. All right, the Terzad archaeological team is back together again we still have time we should travel to the next oasis and rest there in preparation for the next leg of the expedition i'm willing to explain to repay you for your trust but the journey is our current priority yeah this guy's annoying i can't stay on this guy this guy's actually annoying like holy fuck there's a lot to discuss but let's set up camp oh dude this this evening campfire by the oasis is gonna be an interesting one all of you heard samail yes well he was telling the truth just like him i was a member of the eremite band named Thutmose. However, I betrayed him and Thutmose both. Did you do it because of mother? No, that's not it. I thought I'd never have to mention this to anyone ever again. In the end, it was all my fault. There were ill feelings between me and Semail, but I only regarded myself as an insignificant grain of sand. I did as Thutmose needed of me. Ufara was a capable researcher and the Thutmose coveted her. Wow coveted her wisdom you know what's crazy he literally just said that to terzad not too long ago he was like even if you don't have us they are still gonna want you for your wisdom for the things you know just like his wife and i'm pretty sure they used her to get i wouldn't be surprised if they used his wife to get the stone slate in the past or something like that like this is basically history repeating itself practically it seems they hoped to use her knowledge to solve the puzzle i'll Akmar left behind. So I invited her to the desert and explored many ruins with her. Our years spent together did bear some fruit, but it wasn't enough for Thutmose. And was Jet included in those results? Ahem. Come on, Terzad. Those, some things are best left unsaid. I'm making a reasonable inference here. As I said, there were ill feelings between Samail and me. After Jet was born, I kept asking myself if I could still wholeheartedly carry out the missions Thutmose asked me as I had been doing in the past. Could I still tolerate 
tolerate what Samael was doing. In the end, Ufara and I decided to use hitting a bottleneck in her research as an excuse to take Jet away from the desert and away from Thutmose. But Samael saw through my weakness. It can't be. A researcher that can't unlock the secrets of Al Akmar is worthless to Thutmose. He even thought that I had no reason to leave Thutmose once Ufara was, was gone. But he had a daughter at that point. How could you even sleep at night after witnessing things like witnessing things like that? I do my best. So our encounter with Samael was a coincidence? Yes and no. Thutmose will never give up an opportunity to un unlock Al Ahmar's secrets. I thought that we might encounter them, but I never suspected that we would run into Samael. Those Fatui too. Paimon wonders what wicked ploys they and Samael are hatching together. He will stop at nothing to achieve his op his objectives. That's the kind of person Samael is. Then what was the goal on on this trip Jib jibrail my goal are you still unable to let go of king deshret's secrets but jibrail said that even years of research with ufara amounted to nothing so how would relying on terzad really change anything why wouldn't you believe in my skills we're gonna leave in the blanks tomorrow in truth i already know how i'm going to write my paper perhaps it was as jet said coming to the desert is like returning home and in the end i'm a grain of sand i was born here and i shall be buried here as well ufara and i are like a bird and a fish but all Ahmar's secrets allowed our fates to intertwine now you and i people from different lands are again here for those very same secrets i didn't mention it all to you because it was my own selfish dream and it had nothing to do with jet i didn't want to make her bear any burden she didn't have to i hold different opinions of all Ahmar, but you are one of the researchers from the hindi clan as long as we reach the throne the throne our destination tomorrow kaj nisut is where all Ahmar's throne lies according to the legends of the desert only the chosen are worthy to kneel before the throne times have changed if i have a chance to look upon the golden slumber that al akmar promised i'll be able to fulfill the, the lifelong wish that ufara and i share to that end i will do as we agreed and protect you to the end hmm all right our sides would be the weaker by far if it was just murder of birds in me hey how could you forget about paimon i don't think you would be included in any estimation of our group <laughs> aka i don't even calculate you you don't even you're, you're like power level zero huh Paimon's definitely stronger than you, though. Anyways, we have new worries now. Jabril, you don't have revenge on your mind at all. I know you repeatedly promised to protect me until the commission is over, but the loss of your wife isn't something that you could just laugh off, is it? If we meet him again, no, I think we definitely will. Even I know that he'll be waiting in ambush for us at our final destination. At that time, what will your priority be? Will you be taking a step forward to get revenge or take a step back to keep us safe? Come on, Terzad, stop putting people in the spotlight. Like that it's a very realistic question and it's all linked to my survival so of course i have to pursue an answer or you can just not be an asshole if taking revenge on samael could bring you far back to life a good deal like that even if i had to gut him 10 times even a hundred times i wouldn't hesitate at all but this is a meaningless delusion that even Al Ahmar would pay no attention to. I can only pray she has found peace amidst the endless ocean of sand. A man chained by hatred cannot raise us. Oh my God, that's beautiful. A man chained by hatred cannot raise a daughter. That's why I left the sands behind me so that Jet could get away from all of this and those feelings would not edify her. Father, I, I didn't know anything. I even said that you did all of this because you couldn't forget the desert and the hot winds here. If you hate it here, let Let's just leave right now. Forget Samael. To be honest, I want to know about the past. I want to know how you and mother met each other and fell in love. I want to know what you and mother have been through, the sweet memories and everything else. But if bringing up these memories will bring you sorrow, then I'd rather not hear about them. Just leave them buried here. I'll stop liking the sand and I'll stop treating this place as home. Honestly, he prob she probably reminds him of his wife, of her mom, you know? We've been together since I can remember. Nothing in this world is more important to me than you. As long as you're well we can be at home anywhere that's so sweet don't worry i won't quit halfway perhaps a day will come when i shall meet her again in the eternal oasis when that day comes spring water will replace salt water joy will wash away the pain roses will never wilter and the feasts will never end but that day is still very very far away it will definitely not be now she knows that i have a mission to complete i will assist you in unlocking the secrets of all akmar and protect you until the end samaya will not obstruct us because i will 
will clear him out of your way. As for Ufara, if I have the chance, I will tell you everything, Jet. Time will gradually filter away the bitter impurities, so I'm not good with words. I may not be able to even convey a thousandth of her beautiful qualities, but if you're willing to listen, I will tell you everything I know. This is so wholesome! He's actually the number one dad of Genshin Impact. I don't think there's a better dad. I don't think there is a dad in Genshin, to be honest. All of them are either MIA or dead or sus or something like that. You know what I mean? So like, I think he's like the number one Genshin dad right now. Yeah, or drunk or something along those lines. And here's the part where everyone's like, what about Yoimiya's dad? What about Shang Ling's dad? What about Joel's dad? I'm like, come on guys, G give me a break, okay? What about Timmy's dad? Huh? The first character we meet in Genshin and y'all are mentioning playable characters' parents? My head's a mess. Father, can you sing that song again? Oh, stars high above the wasteland. It always calms me. It's a song that Ufara de deciphered from al Ahmar's text. Oh, stars high above the wasteland. Oh, nightingale weary from the days. It's time to take off the crown of roses. Cleanse yourself in wine made from grapes. I'll take the night watch. Don't stay up too late. Aw. Best fucking dad. Best pops. All right. Best old man best dad yeah they're good dads but they're not best dad okay he's best dad all right and i will not be taking any criticism so keep it to yourself dreams beneath the searing sand go to the marked place on the map and explore let's see what we got here yeah so this entire area is like an invisible uh like force field over here so i'm expecting it to open up Whew, we're finally here but is the alcohol still clouding your mind or is the sand distorting my vision? Is this really the place we're looking for? I can see Kaj in a suit, but it feels like I also don't. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. You clearly can't hold your alcohol, so why are you so fond of drinking? I'd hope it would improve my fountain of wisdom, but it makes my world spin instead. Ugh. You're right. I really should slow down a bit, but I'll be fine. Noctagall gave me some invigorating drinks before we left, so I'm as clear-headed as can be. It feels like we're missing a little something here. Yeah, like the actual fucking building. Just a little might be an understatement. Kajnasu is where we should be, but it seems to be refusing to show itself to us. And what's that supposed to mean? Shh. Look over there. It's the Eremite. They got here before us, and that's where Samael's missive is. So it makes sense that we... I, I guess I should have found that as I made my way here. Due to my curious nature for exploration, I found it preemptively. What should we do? Avoid them? No, let's have a little chat with them. Oh, boy. <laughs> but we didn't get along last time. We even fought each other, and we even fought each other. Can we even... Okay, this guy doesn't understand the nuances of that, of that line. Terza, do you think we're gonna go over there and invite them for tea? We're going to... To communicate in our own way of course and if all else fails we'll talk with our fists that's what my father and i do best ha the researcher and the trader good give us the stuff samail mentioned give you what we don't owe you anything huh. acting dumb won't save you take this looks like negotiations have broken down damn get her oh shit oh she's the animal character right that's the animal character yeah the animal girl Oh, she's gonna summon her Pokemon. This is the first time I'm seeing this bot. Um, this is the first time I'm seeing this NPC summon that creature. All right. Oh shit! It's actually coming to life. The Three Realms Gateway. The Three Realms Gateway offering. It's all over. It's it's Enkino me all over again. Oh my god, that's actually kind of goaded. That shit looks so sick. What's going on? Yeah, exactly. We just freaking turn. We just freaking manifested. IRL manifestation. All right, we're entering this tomb. Wish me luck. We're about to find some crazy ass shit in here. I can I can feel it in my bones. Look at your map now. Oh, is it? It shows up on the map. Yeah, that's kind of that's pretty cool. Holy shit! This entire thing is is. Hold on. This is the key of Kaj Nisut. Nilu's signature weapon is the key to this place. Nilu is the key to it all. Oh, and there's another, damn, there's a big ass monument over here, an obelisk. Oh shit, yo, this is the granddaddy of freaking doors. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Yeah, you could, oh my God, this one actually looks goaded. This place looks sick. The interior designing of all of these locations has been spectacular. Especially these like new, uh, these new statues too. Like the griffin looking ones. They're obviously inside, but where's the throne? Why would you think the throne would be facing the entrance it isn't a receptionist desk actually i feel like i shouldn't say that uh 
disrespectful things in a place like this? Anyways, King Deshret's throne should be a more dignified place, or in simpler terms, a place that's higher up. The mechanism here probably stopped working a long time ago. We'll have to find a way to reactivate it. Oh, Paimon can't wait to see what the throne looks like. Everything linked King Deshret is huge. So that throne is definitely very, very huge, right? Paimon wants to take a seat on and yeah, Paimon's automatically disrespecting this place. <laughs> ben Ben's like, uh, no, thank you. Something seems to be the matter with Ben Ben. It seems like it wants to go down, huh? But Terzad said the throne is definitely higher up. Hmm. To go up, we must first go down. You cannot reach a peak without falling to your lowest, just like in life. Yo, that sounds like some spiral abyss nonsense at Astra Abyssos. Yes, exactly. Huh. Looks like you've learned quite a bit these past few days you spent with me, huh? All right, explore the lower floors, say less. Hey, Master Rain 98 thank you so much for subscribing with your one and only Twitch Prime for the month. I greatly appreciate you. Oh my God, King Deshret's fucking army just showed up. What the hell? What the fuck? Did King Deshret tell them to lay down their arms? I love how they're just all linked by Nahida's skill now. I'm about to body the fuck out of them. Yeah, you know better to bow before me the dendro archon famous last words by the way okay continue exploring that was a little weird you're worthy they said yeah of course i'm worthy you know who i am i'm murder birds oh what the fuck oh shit that looks fucking cool <laughs> Now that's a throne. Oh my God. What giga Chad energy. This man sits on the smaller Hello throne again. with a bigger version of himself on the bigger throne. That's like some actual <laughs> king shit. Actual king shit from King Deshret. Some actual King Deshret. <laughs> There you go. That's my that's my that's my added pun for the stream. Hey, that's how you get him. You dropped this King Deshret. <laughs> he, he, this chair this chair is huge. Paimon feels like sitting on it is gonna make Paimon super great. I want to sit on it too. I may disapprove of a tyrant like King Deshret, but your thoughts might be a little too audacious. Even so, Paimon. Anyways, nothing happened. Huh? Is something lacking? Or perhaps we made a mistake somewhere? Hmm. Jabril did mention that only the chosen may kneel before the throne. Maybe we. Really have to kneel before the throne. You're not worthy. You better not kneel. If you kneel, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw your hat. You better not kneel. But I'm a researcher of the academia. I can't kneel before a tyrant's throne. And it's an empty throne, too. Well, good, because you're not worthy anyway. Don't worry, it won't be empty once pa Paimon, please don't sit on the throne. You're seriously Jet, please help me with Paimon. Wait, where did Jet go? She was still with us just a moment ago, right? Uh oh my god. Chat, I for I completely forgot about this guy. It's been such a cakewalk the whole time, and I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. They're going to jump out at us at the last minute. <laughs> like mother-like daughter situation again. Fuck this guy. Jabril, are you still refusing to admit that you're a Thutmose? Self-deceiving makes no difference for people like us. You know that. al Ahmar's throne is right before us. Aren't you obsessed with it, too? No mere grain of sand can reject the golden slumber. al Ahmar's promise is the paradise that all of us dream of. Did you think betraying the Thutmose would be enough to deny your nature? Ha! I knew you would be back. Little Jet, do you see it now? Once he laid eyes on al Ahmar's throne, your dear father forgot everything, even you. That was my mistake. It has nothing to do with him. Hmm. <laughs> You're just as stubborn as your father. But your talkativeness... I guess you must have gotten that from Ufara, huh? Samail, we've solved everything for you and brought you to the throne. Your dream should be fulfilled. Jet is useless to you, so why keep her? I see. So you're finally showing your true colors, huh, Jabrail? Use their plans against them? You're just one of them, like I expected. Ha ha ha. So this is your choice. Looks like your companions never really trusted you at all. Terzad, your expedition should be over now. We've explored the entire Kajnasut, and you ha now have all the knowledge you need for your paper. We should, con we should start considering how to get back safely now. I promise to protect you until the end and I'll keep my word. That guy doesn't, it's so fucked up that like this Jabrail's keeping his word and, and, and Terzad is still like, I, I, you're still a scummy piece of shit. Even if you're keeping your word. Jabril, I thought I knew you, but I really don't understand what you're doing right now. You're trying to shoulder every burden, your daughter's safety, that researcher's commission, and even al Ahmar's secrets. I thought you learned your lesson about greed when, uh, when Yufara died. Oh, sorry. Or should I say, I taught you that lesson when Yufara died. So can we kill this guy right now? Like, what's going on? I can body those Fatui and this man with a hand tied behind my back. Oh, perhaps you learned your lesson and you're prepared to pay the price now. Let's see. 
Which one amongst you will be the will be the price you pay? This weirdo keeps saying weird stuff. Paimon's getting confused. Haven't we uncovered everything? And what are all Akmar's secrets anyway? And the golden slumber? Those are just desert superstitions. Things like that are too vague. There's no re research value in them. You're a fucking boomer. Shut your mouth. They say anyone who gains King Deshret's wisdom is permitted to enter the golden slumber and enjoy eternal peace and happiness there. Besides ignorant children, who could take that seriously? <laughs> You third-rate researcher. Oh, if Alfaro was alive, she would have written multiple books by now. Someone like you has no right to talk about Al Ahmar's legacy. If you wish to sit on Al Ahmar's throne, then do as you please. I won't stop you, but I won't let Terzad do that either. I opened the path to Al Ahmar's throne for you, and I used Terzad and Murder of Birds to make Kaj Nisut manifest itself. I don't think I owe Terzad anything. I I wanted his paper. He wanted his paper that could shock the academic world, and now he has material that no one else has he's helped i've helped him accomplish his objective now give jet to me and we'll be even hmm i'm really curious why are you always so evasive whenever al akmar's secrets are mentioned it's an empty throne anyone can sit on it an unqualified and mediocre person wouldn't be great just by sitting on it that prayer is the key but oh but of course you know that wait prayer well it all makes sense if you plan to return alone unfortunately unless you're willing to pay with little jet's life nothing is more important than family yeah paimon may not know what the secrets of al akhmar he keeps mentioning are but it doesn't matter if the truth or if it's superstition like terzad said both strength and endless wealth are nothing before family what kind of prayer has has that much appeal i refuse to believe it but i don't mind listening in it doesn't hurt to include it as an anecdote in my paper this guy's a lost cause if something like this can be exchanged for jet safety then stop hesitating and tell him to be honest i expected that we might have to fight for our lives to get home so it isn't great that we have to resolve this piece so isn't it is there any way we can resolve this peacefully i never expected to see such intense superstition but my knowledge is still lacking perhaps this superstition linked to king deshred is as is may uh, as it is may be worth studying after all can you please slap this guy it was the song it was the song that i think he said the mother taught him the song oh stars high above the wasteland jabrail recites the song he softly sang but isn't this father jabrail why get ready oh stars high above the wasteland huh i see samael repeats the prayer mm, i hope he gets like obliterated like he just gets fucking turned into like a he just like burns to smithereens or something what is this murder of birds he looks so strange he fell asleep oh wait is he in the golden slumber wait did he just die he isn't breathing he's inside the golden slumber that al akhmar promised the eternal dreamland so that's what you meant by whoa and they actually like kills them and puts them to sleep like actual <laughs> man's taking an actual dirt nap <laughs> what happened to Samael? None of you will leave this place a lot. Okay, sir, you better turn it. You better relax. Get ready to fight. Yo, y'all are getting clapped real quick. Nahida, do your thing, girl. Father, what's going on? That prayer. Jabril, you mentioned that Jet's mother deciphered it from Al Akmar's text. I didn't expect it to be used. Yeah, I said, uh, yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure that came from the mom. But is Al Akmar's golden slumber a way to send his believers into eternal sleep? Or is it to send them to their eternal resting place? That makes it more terrifying terrifying than I ever imagined. I really should get back and update the collective knowledge of the academic world. Eek! Thank goodness Paimon didn't sit. Oh my god, Paimon would have fucking died. Paimon dodged a fucking bullet. Yes, sitting on a seat that doesn't belong to you really doesn't end well, huh? I have so many questions. Ufaria made this inference about Al Akmar's promise. To those who offer the correct prayer to Al Akmar will be granted entry into the golden slumber, but it's a one way trip. Oh, did you give him the. Was that the wrong one then? No one can move freely between the eternal dreamland and reality. It seems like Ufaria was right. Semi Mael is gone forever. I must admit that it was a very risky gamble, but all that matters is Jet is safe. That's right. Everyone's safe, and that's the most important thing. Sheesh, dude, that's kind of crazy. Jet's back safely, and Samael's subordinates have been defeated. Samael, he got his wish, didn't he? If he wasn't such a villain, I'd actually feel like thanking him. Anyways, uh, since he's in a paradise he dreamed of, I don't need his permission to use him as a case study on my paper, right? All's well that ends well, eh? All right, Terzad, hereby announce that this arc 
archaeological expedition has been completed successfully and has it yielded great results is it really over it doesn't feel oh it doesn't feel real actually it isn't over i mean the minimum requirements of the commission was to escort me safely back to aru village right hmm that's true terzard's commission isn't over so i can't slack off just yet father and i will be free once we escort terzard back safely then we can go wherever we want oh i'm not talking about the desert by the way i just meant literally anywhere it's fine jet i'm willing to accompany you wherever you want to go as for you farah i'll tell her about i'll tell you about her if you're willing to listen there's her research notes too there's her research notes too but i don't know if you'll be interested in those i was worried about losing them so i didn't bring them along i left them in some luggage with boniface once we return to aru village and get our luggage what the fuck this place is rumbling whoa <laughs> did anyone feel like something's wrong something's come what the fuck is uh is it gonna stop jeez dude what the fuck is this this is like the freaking this was like the forbidden knowledge that was oozing out of the freaking eye in the cutscene. what's going on how could this be damn is, is freaking samail pulling some shit in the dream world is it samail oh no if he gained all akhmar's wisdom then even if it was just for an instant he could have gained all akhmar's authority we must leave immediately holy shit oh my god are you serious i have to run out of this bitch <sighs> Oh my god. You're fucking capping right now. Oh my. And they put the fucking. In they really put the invisible walls here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Kaching is lit. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm literally stressed. Get the fuck out of here. Stop and take a picture. Okay. <laughs> hey. Uh, enjoy the last few seconds of your life, Kazuha. According to my chat, it was worth it. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, that's terrifying. I really hope there was nothing in there that I can't live without because uh, I think that's sealed for the time being. We must defeat Samael who has stolen all Akmar's power, but his physical form is in a world. Is he gonna go into the dream world and stop him? But it's a one way. I have a feeling that that might be what happens. We must defeat Samael who has stolen all Akmar's power, but his physical form in this world would have been destroyed already. So that makes makes him formless then how do we defeat him don't tell me he's invincible in the eternal dreamland unless someone goes to where he is bruh unless someone stops and defeats him in the eternal dreamland i must i must protect you Let's throw the researcher in there. Why can't we throw the researcher in there? What the fuck? Father, but how are you going to come back? Didn't you say that no one can move freely between the dream, the eternal dreamland and reality? There's no time to lose. I promise to keep you safe until the end. I can't let you all die here. There's no time to lose. I promise to keep you safe. What is this place? Dude, he instantly went back. Jabrail. Haha, <laughs> you're here. I knew it. I knew it. We are the twin blades of Thutmos, our lives dedicated to uncovering the secrets of the golden slumber. You took the long way around, but it doesn't matter anymore. We've met again here at the end of that path, bro. This literally looks so fucking crazy. We look like they look like they're in the abyss or some shit. You were just lost before, but the sands of the Thutmos are always, always returned before Al Akmar's throne. Like the dehydrated thirst of a spring, only the illusions of the eternal oasis can reveal our agony. I'm inside the golden slumber promised by all Akmar? You are not us yet. It's fine. Soon there'll be no you. You will be become a part of us. This meaningless talk will be unnecessary then. Wait, what the fuck? Who's us? No, no, I'm here to stop you. My mission is to protect. I must protect Jet and the others. Bro, this is like a fucking hive mind of all of the people that have come before, maybe? Why care about such a trivial matter? Great power is right before you. It's like a torrent in the desert. Don't you feel it? You should obey. All Akmar's will is our will. The Thudmos's dream is our dream. No, Yufara taught me that I'm not just some part Part of you. I'm an independent person. I have my own dreams. I won't go back. Jabrail, why don't you understand? Love is just a fever. I even eliminated the infection for you. 
Has the heat made you lose your mind? You're the one who's lost your mind, Samael. Not me. The golden slumber that al Akmar promised us isn't like this. It's not a sad place that only we, that with only we and not I. I'm not sad. I know what I want. My dream is to be one with the Thutmos. Yet you, the warmth of others, I despise such feelings. It makes you weak. Your betrayal is like a blade in my chest. But I have obtained all Akmar's wisdom. And that wound I thought I would it, that and that wound I thought would never heal is nothing but a memory now. You realized it too, haven't you? That drowsiness. All Akmar is summoning you into the dream. Stop arguing meaninglessly with me. Come, fall into deep sleep. When you awaken again, no, when we awaken again nothing will be left standing in our way the thudmos's dream will be fulfilled no you're the enemy my dream is we are the dunes and you are a grain of sand we are one you know this no i'm the treacherous grit i am dude this guy's having like a fucking mental he's that there's like a mental battle going on right now this is kind of intense no i'm the i'm the treacherous grit i abandoned the thudmos and chose a different path you chose the long way around but you've reached the same you've reached the correct destination admit it this is the hi dream hidden within your heart i wanted to return to this place yes you did there is no hatred here only eternal peace no bitter salt water only an endless spring sleep jabrail sleep no way I don't believe it. Oh, his daughter, father, father. His body has disappeared. He's not coming back, Jet. This can't be. Oh, Paimon. Wait, so he can still hear us. I refuse to believe it. He's always kept his promise. He's promised to tell me about my mother. All of you heard him. He wouldn't lie to me. He never lies to me. <laughs> I refuse to yield. Jet is right. I'm a man of my word. I promise to protect them until the end. What a fucking badass i fucking love this guy so much on i gotta grab a screenshot of this this man is actually goaded for all time i see your ties to the mundane inhibit you just like that infection i just have to eliminate them the door is open it must be jabrail it's still shaking jet it's dangerous here we can't stay or else his sacrifice would mean nothing leave if you want father father will be back he'll be so sad if he can't find me when he wakes up i won't leave him <laughs> How foolish, but those trivial troubles will vanish with the wind soon. I won't let you win. I finally get it. Samael, you're right. There is no me, only us, but you're not the only one who can decide our will. You can't be serious. Samael, the twin blade of Thunmos are equal. So die here with me. Oh my God. This man is like, you, <laughs> we are one. We go down together. Oh my God. Jet, forgive me. You'll have to go on alone from here on. No, I'm sure you won't forgive me. After all, it's my first time breaking a promise to you. I hear the voices of many here. I think I hear Euphara's too. She's humming the song of her home. Oh, if only you could hear it too. Why couldn't I have told you a little more about her? Her, cur her soft curly hair and that innocent smile of hers. Oh my God. I have so many things I want to share with you, but I'm no longer able to distinguish if they are my memories or our memories. Sorry. <sighs> Damn, dude. I can't believe that. Man's really tried his best to keep the secret, his past a secret to protect his daughter. And in the end, he did what he had to do to protect his daughter. God, that's so fucking bittersweet, man. The door's closed again. Thank goodness we made it out in time. Jabrail protected us, but he... It must be Jabrail who opened the door for us. Without him, we would have been... He fulfilled his promise. This place may not be completely safe. Let us meet with Naktagal's group and head back to Aru Village. Refusing to give up, Jack examined the entrance of Kajnasut time after time, only to find the door tightly shut. Behind it was dead silence. Things have happened and are beyond redemption. Jet, now having to accept reality, put away Jabrail's axe carefully. Yo, that man crit for so much dendro damage, bro. <laughs> Those fights were glorious, man. He actually popped off. It was the only thing he had left behind. We finally managed to persuade her to come back with us to the camp. We then informed the merchants of what happened and returned to Aru Village. What an absolute legend. Another unforgettable NPC, dude. Unforgettable, man. What a fucking 
what a badass dude i can't believe it man i feel like i went on i feel like i've just been on a journey to think that something like that happened animal archon bless it yeah yeah venti bless us of all people <sighs> i'm really sorry about what happened to jabril but at least all of you return safely i think we may have to reconsider our careers as traveling merchants the desert is a hundred times more dangerous than i expected even someone as capable as jabril a nobody like me wouldn't have that many lives this may be bad timing but i have to ask you what all of your plans do now what all of you plan to do now i believe terzad will be returning to sumeru city M me yes i will I, I should be heading back and starting to start writing my paper i must record everything that i witness but not for academic glory or anything jabrail did as finally it fucking sucks that you were talking shit about him the whole time he was alive that's so unfortunate it's so unfortunate that the man had to die by his word for you to see that he was genuine the whole way through but not for academic glory or anything jabril did as he promised he would yet i've always been avoiding my responsibilities now it's my turn i too should shoulder my responsibilities and as for the stone slate it's good character development i'm not gonna take that away from him it's just so that would eat away at me dude that would eat away at me if like i thought I, and that's that's eating away at me in anime like characters and stuff like that we talked about it with itachi like that shit ate away at me as i got older i was like bro <laughs> i didn't know any better it's good to see that it's good to see that i thought he was gonna just be like hey too bad so sad gonna go write my research paper now see ya where was the lie jabrail was saying nothing but he he was giving nothing but facts the whole time telling him look at look in the mirror bro you know what i mean you're not you're not everything you're cracked up to be despite talking down to other people you know people you're, you're your actions speak more than your words do i've prepared a replica for reference as for the original i hope you'll keep it safe for you uh i hope you'll keep it safe for me i'm not trying to run from danger it's a commission just think about it i'll be completely occupied with my paper soon but an adventurer like you will never stop adventuring right all right so we get to keep it because we have more puzzles to solve if you make new discoveries during that time wouldn't it make the perfect team the thesis material shall be mine and the more are yours that's perfect we'll uh we'll be making the best use of all our resources yeah what about jet man like she she's motherless and fatherless now like what the hell where is she gonna go what is she gonna do you know what i mean and jet what do you plan to do now do you have any friends you can rely on or something father he was so busy he never had time for anything he didn't leave anything behind just this axe he always used father said he hoped that he could meet her again in the eternal oasis that the day was still very very far away liar he lied to me and to my my mother he should keep his own promise now i have to fulfill it for him and take this axe and mother's research notes which he kept in his luggage to the eternal oasis i hope they'll find i hope they'll find true peace there oh, at least she has ben ben he's got ben ben is there anything we can do to help thank you but it's all right while i was taking a quick look through my mother's research note i noticed what seemed like casual diary entries on the edge of the pages i found out that my father is from a tribe called tanit so i plan to look for them perhaps they can tell me about my father see that's so unfortunate because he was just about a after this commission he was about to tell her about her mom and like more about him and they were gonna have like this like heart to heart moment of like opening up to each other and then you know he sacrifices himself sorry i just i haven't i'm sorry let's give her a moment to herself yeah anyways <sighs> noctigal and i will be staying here for a while we'll think long and hard about our future we should be returning to sumeru in some time too paimon just has this feeling that there is so many more secrets to uncover come to us if you need anything we'll do our best to help you and good luck in your adventures slumber oh brother of mine complete golden slumber Wow. Everyone hold hands. Father, why? Sorry, I'm still not very good at controlling my emotions. Don't apologize. Yeah, we know you're going through a tough time. Thank you. May your travels be smooth. Oh, Paimon hopes that everything will go well with you too. Paimon, sure it will. It's got Ben, Ben. It's got Benny, Benny. She's got Benny, boy. I see everything. 
I have to write my report properly or... Oh, it's you. Is there anything else you want to discuss? Let's talk about Jabril. To think that I remained doubtful of him until the end. I'm such an awful person. Self-reflection. You love to see it. I was just saying that a little while ago. I'm like, bro, that's going to eat away at you, bro. You never know when your last moments are with anybody. Now, all I have for him is gratitude. I've never been able to commit before this, whether in academics or in life. But this ends now. I will take the path I believe in, no matter how difficult it may be this is the least i can do to pay my respects to him holy shit actual character development i want to talk about king desherit to be honest i'm starting to doubt the credibility of the articles that you think it's called an archon quest do it and you'll know the truth <laughs> play genshin impact if you want to know the truth that prayer it gives a strange feeling that i can't put my finger on and samael too what he said i think i should study it further once i get back of course my main mission is to write my is to write my paper like i originally planned yeah but how do you write your paper and go against basically all of the scriptures that came before you you know what i mean that's definitely gonna rustle up some feathers let's talk about jet for a moment <sighs> i too wish that i could do something for her but i can't if she refuses and she refuses to say anything if she would just speak her desires i would be willing to do anything in my power to help her damn man's about to pull some strings at the academia bro bonifaz to think that omid it <laughs> didn't hesitate in telling me that they're gonna quit <laughs> Yo, them two literally quit, bro. They were like, yo, this is my last mission. This is my last. Let me get the fuck up out of here, bro. Oh my God. He's like, to think Omid and uh, Mursad didn't hesitate a bit when telling me they'd be quitting. God damn. He needs some new people. That was great. I got to hire new people. Life's getting more and more difficult. What a quest line, man. And it's still not done. There are still some unanswered questions. Like, I understand we know about King Desha, but I thought we'd actually get into the nitty gritty of it. And there are still some areas that we have to uncover, like the Hall of Truth. I feel like there's still some truths to King Desha. What happened to him exactly? Like, how, like, what happened? Like, mainly, like, how did he come to discover forbidden knowledge? How did he access that forbidden knowledge? What was his reaction to everything happening in the aftermath and the the fallout of all of that there's still a lot of things and like his relationship with the dendro archon and the, the the goddess of flowers right there's like all of that stuff so so i'm just wondering if there's gonna be how much more of a story is there gonna be to tell about king desherit his wisdom, his power, for the forbidden knowledge and everything else in between. I know there's still some books I have to read and whatnot, but obviously there's still so much secrets in the mausoleum, especially that that hall of secrets. I feel like that's where we're going to get all the juicy lore and details regarding him. Hopefully this was great. This was another awesome interaction of, of, of characters that exist in the world of Genshin was not expecting it to be as somber towards the end, especially with finding out about what happened to the mom, a lot of unknown history regarding the father and the daughter and now the daughter is alone without her dad absolute best dad of genshin impact period unless we get a dad that's a playable character i really hope we get to see a lot of the aftermaths with these npcs by the way like rana like jet you know all of these people that we've met along our journey that go on and like move on to other things whether it's in a future world quest or like an epilogue after the game or anything like that it would just be cool to see how they've been like ji chong you know what i mean like so many npcs we've met and interacted with and um you know like some of them are doing well like ladochka is just like the shrine maiden at inazuma you know she's doing her thing but some of them kind of go away and then we're just kind of left to wonder so um i hope we get to see her again even after this quest line is officially done i hope she does well for herself and i hope that there's more of a story to be had with them in the future yeah this was great i loved this world quest this was really really spectacular that's gonna do it for me though really hope you guys enjoyed the content i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed my experience of the golden slumber quest overall in the meantime i hope you guys enjoyed and uh it's been great